Today you can meet Latino authors and actors and check out the latest in Latino literature. And the best of all, you could do this, it's all for free. Free is the word here. Yeah, it's the second day of the 13th annual Chicago Latino Book and Family Festival, which sees thousands of visitors. It takes place at Unity Junior High School, that's in Cicero. And host of the festival is Zeke Montez and author Elaine King. Both of them join us live this morning. So both of you, good morning to you. Buenos dias. Yes. Buenos dias. Yes. 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 Nice. Buenos dias. <laughs> nice to have you here. You know, Zeke, why don't you just start off about the event and why this is such an important event that just seems to grow and grow every year. Well, much like Edward James almost would say, the most important thing that we can do is read at home. And literacy is the thing for Latinos to do every day. And Elaine, talk to me a little bit about uh, the books that you've written and what wisdom you hope to share with folks who stop by today. The book is called La Familia y el Dinero Hecho Fácil, which is Family and Money Matters. And it aims to the Latino community to learn how to manage their money, but most importantly, to find the meaning and the role that it plays in their lives and to be able to achieve all their goals because sometimes, as you know, money ends up controlling our lives. And this is just a little recipe on how to understand why the attitudes of money. You know, Elaine and Zeke, both of you, this is interesting because, of course, Elaine, your book is targeting a lot of first-generation people, maybe who didn't have parents who went to college, don't know about finances. This is a story now not just for Latinos, but other immigrant communities. And there are so many of them throughout the Chicago area, is it not? Very much so. But the Latino community has enormous challenges right now. It's not as, not as, not as only language, but culture and the, uh, the rap that we all have right now with immigration. But uh, so we really need to work on this and, and inspire people to, to do better. And Elaine, if you were to share one tip that you frequently uh, do with families who read your book and who come out and see you, what would that be? Oh, wow. Only one tip? <laughs> <laughs> we'll give you two. Okay, so keep your fixed expenses as low as you can. Live beyond your means, below your means. Don't get in debt and don't spend on something that you cannot afford or pay off for more than six months. You know, Zeke, I know literacy and books, certainly the focus, but you also have some villages, some... Tell us about the other things happening throughout the day. Well, very great villages. We have some great panels. Uh, we have a lot of entertainment. The Technology Village, which is something that we're all facing and all our kids are facing, is our new village. Uh, the Quinceañera Village, which is the cotillion for young ladies. And we have a little fashion show and a little ca uh, cotillion contest here inspiring young kids to do better in, in, with technology and with culture. And so those are very exciting things that are going on. Besides a lot of the books and a lot of over 140 exhibitors that we have uh, this, uh, uh, today for everybody to come and visit us. Alrighty, Zeke and Elaine, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We appreciate it. And again, the Latino Book and Family Festival, it runs today from 11 till 6 o'clock. It's at Unity Junior High School in Cicero. The event is free. We have posted all the information online at abc7chicago.com. Be sure to click on See It on TV. Education, no doubt the key.